at center campus and they were going to be shot, many of these people would show up. But they don't know how to live it in that context. Um, there's something about the press of circumstances under God. Well, it's like Jeremiah says in the Lamentations. It's a good thing to bear the yoke in your youth, <laughs> uh, to really know what it's like uh, to have only God. There's a wonderful phrase that shows up over in the Old, the Old Testament, like Psalm 16. The Lord is my portion. <laughs> What I've got is the Lord, is what that's saying. Yeah. And it's often said in the context, well, that's all I've got. Yeah. Now, it's a very interesting fact of church history, I believe, that the church has always done best in godly terms as well as in cultural terms when it had the least. The guy standing there on that hillside in Nazareth or Galilee, and hearing Jesus say to them, I've been given say over everything in heaven and earth. As you go, therefore, make disciples. Uh, you can almost, I mean, you put yourself inside of them. Uh, they were guys that had a sense of reality. You almost hear them leaning back and saying, yes, in the light of our recent successes in Jerusalem, hmm. we're ready to take on the world. But they did. Yeah. <laughs> they did. Yeah. They actually did it. And they did it with nothing right. except the Lord. Except the Lord. Yeah. And that's, I think, where we stand, you know. That's where I stand and what I do. Really, all I've got is the Lord. And if I'm the pastor of a, of a large church or a small church, that's all I've got. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. what I have to count on. Mm -hmm. And I believe the truth of the matter is when we count on it, we will see the reality of the kingdom breaking forth all around us. And the reason I believe that is not just because that's what the scripture would lead you to believe, but because it actually happens. And when you look at church history, you see it happen over and over, and it's happening now in many parts of the world. Amen. Great. I think yeah. that's <laughs> time. <laughs> yeah. I will. It's a great, uh, great place to conclude. I'm sure there's lots more we could talk about. But thank you thank so you. much. It's my so privilege, much. and I'm so pleased to be back here and get to know you and to renew my impression of of Trinity. <laughs> and uh, it's been several years. You're very gracious. Well, thank you all for joining us at the Henry Center. <laughs>